So with Terminator Dark Fate now showing in many countries, I would assume that most of us have seen it by now. The movie also brought us a new type of Terminator, the Rev-9, an advanced and more agile T-800 model, but it's covered in liquid metal. Now this brings up a great topic. What if the Rev-9 fought against the T-3000 Terminator? Who would win and why? First, let's look at the Rev-9. It's not only one Terminator, but two of them combined, but it can also separate to form two separate units. The endoskeleton is more durable and more agile than previous models. Its body seems to have many open areas or gaps. Since there is more mass of the liquid metal, it will need to fill more holes so it evens out when merging together and forming a human appearance. The liquid metal portion can form bladed weapons, just like the T-1000. As it separates from the endoskeleton body, it can form the liquid metal body from a distance, which allows it to descend on a target from different angles. But what about its weaknesses? Well, like most T-800 models, they are vulnerable to extreme electrical currents, which can disable the T-800 for a short time. The liquid metal unit tends to regenerate any wounds it has, but severe damage will only slow this process down, and as with all Terminator models, they can be destroyed by extreme heat from molten steel. Now, let's look at the T-3000 Terminator. It was created by John Connor's DNA being rewritten by a T-5000 Terminator, which turns humans into T-3000 units. These Terminators are not like previous models. Their entire body is made up of nanomachines. By using a magnetic field, it holds together its machine phase matter, but it can also use this to separate into a mist form and reassemble elsewhere at a rapid pace. It's been seen to create stabbing weapons from these nanites and even regenerate its injuries much faster than a T-1000. While its body is controlled by a magnetic field, it can use this to walk on other surfaces during combat. It's been shown that lasers can destroy nanites, but it's also weak against other magnetic currents. This would disrupt its own magnetic field from holding together the nanomachines that form its body. So if we pit them against each other, who would win? Well, let's say the Rev-9 splits into two units for maximum combat utility. The liquid metal form and the T-3000 can regenerate their own wounds, as well as forming stabbing weapons similar to the T-1000. But since the Rev-9 has no weapon of extreme heat or magnetic current, I would favor the T-3000 in this fight. While the Rev-9 is more durable than the standard T-800 model, I can see the T-3000 cutting off some of its limbs, so it would really come down to the liquid metal form versus the nanomachines. The nanomachines can reassemble faster than the liquid metal form can, so any damage the liquid metal body has will slow it down in combat. The T-3000 also has shown better hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. This is why I would favor the T-3000 in this battle. But which enemy do you think would win? Tell me in the comment section. Now, if you're wondering why I did not include the T-5000 Terminator in this battle, it's simply because it appeared very briefly in Terminator Genesis. All that we know is Skynet uploaded its consciousness into this T-5000 unit. Its main ability is turning humans into T-3000 Terminators. It rewrites their genetic code on a cellular level, and this process cannot be reversed. It was able to take out John Connor's team fairly easily and was undetected by dogs. That's pretty much all we know about the T-5000 Terminator, so we don't know what else it can do in combat. So that covers this battle between the Rev-9 and the T-3000 Terminator. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like on it. You can also subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.